Our next story comes to us from Turkey, the country, with a child that can only be described as a typical Turk. And what do I mean by that? <laughs> a literal snake bit a toddler's lip and the toddler survived. No, it's not that she just survived. Okay, she went full Turk. Okay, I, so I started reading this story and I didn't know that it had anything to do with Turkey. And I read the first paragraph and I was like, what is she, Turkish? And then the second paragraph, she's from near Bingo, Turkey. I'm like, I know it. Okay, so what did she do? The snake, she's two years old, snake bites her. Because she was, of course, petting the snake because she's a Turk. Uh, the snake bites her, she bites the snake back. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And guess who dies? The snake. No, it's amazing. Okay. I love her. I love her. I want her to be president of the United States. <laughs> Move Stronger to than <laughs> any Democrat we've ever had in office. Okay. <laughs> like FDR should blow him out of the water. Okay. <laughs> no, okay. But seriously, let me give you the exact details. So, um, Newsweek reports that when they reached the two year old, they found her with a bite mark on her lip and a 20 inch snake between her teeth. The snake later died and the toddlers uh, from the toddler's revenge bite while the two year old was taken to uh, the hospital uh, to treat her for the injuries that she sustained as a result of the snake bite. And it clearly was not a venomous snake. Or uh, maybe it was and she's just a Turk. I honestly, maybe. <laughs> she just brushed it off. So why, if you've never seen our stories about random Turks like this, you're wondering why are they obsessed with why would. We did a story, it just happens years nonstop. Years ago, years ago. No, and you will see it now all over the place yourself, okay? You'll see it in the news. No, just a couple of weeks ago, we did a story on old school mm -hmm. about how there was a shark in the water in a tourist area in Turkey. Yep. And there's a whole bunch of sharks in the water, none of them get out. Like, oh, there's they're a shark not plus. in the water? They're like, oh, there's a shark in the water. And they watch it, and then somebody gets a broom, and they start beating the shark with a broom, or one guy does, and the shark runs away. Why? Swims Turk. away. Okay, yeah. we did a story, we've done a hundred of these. It's super random, we were not trying to look for them at all. Guy walks in with a shotgun to a grocery store in somewhere in Bronx or Queens or something. The guy's like an old Turkish guy, he just grabs a shotgun and turns it on him. The guy's like, what the hell, and runs out of the store. Two different times, a guy gets run over by a truck. A truck, a, a big truck, truck, on video. Big truck. Okay, just gets up and walks away. Yeah. Every one of them a Turk. No, but what's going on? <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't look I on old school we had the conversation half tongue in cheek that it might be genetic. And and we were is it cultural? Is it genetic? But it's a two year old, so it that's not cultural, man. In her case it's gotta be genetic. Um I can't believe the two year old bit the snake. Well, like first of all, there was a two year old in Turkey playing with a snake. Yeah, she's like, oh, nice with. snake, nice snake, no big deal. Oh, you wanna bite me? <laughs> what now? They found <laughs> her with the snake in her mouth. Still in her mouth, because she wasn't playing. Okay, <laughs> snake messed with the wrong Turkish girl. So, F around and find out. <laughs> okay. so, so her dad weighs in and says, it's not that she's a strong girl, it's not that Turks have some special genetic abilities. Allah has protected her really. Well, Our neighbors have told me that the snake was in the hand of my child. She was playing with it and then it bit her. Then she bit the snake back as a reaction. Yes, that is what happened, um, allegedly. <laughs> but like, it reminds me of, so something happened in my childhood and that quote reminds me of like my parents, right? Because when we were with my dad once, my we were crossing the street, jaywalking. My dad probably shouldn't have done that, but he's an immigrant, doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> so <laughs> doesn't respect jaywalking laws. Anyway, we crossed the street and my brother's shoe fell. And I'm a little kid too, right? So I was like, oh, my brother's shoe. So I let go of my dad's hand and turned to get the shoe and a car almost hit me. It was like right about to hit me and it just missed me, right? And my dad is convinced, my dad's religious, right? He's convinced it was God. The car was gonna hit you, but it was God that moved the car just enough so it didn't hit you. And then they sacrificed a chicken 
They brought a chicken home. They're like, we will now sacrifice the chicken for God. I thought the chicken was cute. It was my friend, and then they freaking I killed. I can't believe we have the same story. That's like with Ali the sheep in my circumcision story. Oh my God, yes. Okay, yes. they're like, oh yeah. I mean, we cut the, the, the genitals, but on the other hand, we brought you Ali. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I was. We it, sacrificed Ali for you. No, I haven't eaten lamb since. My grandfather snapped the chicken's neck in front of me. I didn't know it was gonna happen. We had never had a matach, as Armenians call it. And I was yeah. like, why are we doing so this? so good in Klingon. <laughs> uh, okay, and I like how the Turks are like, oh, the Armenians snapped, snapped the neck of chickens. Bring a lamb, we go bigger animal. To be fair. <laughs> Uh, Armenians in Armenia do the bigger animals, but oh, like, of course, but like of we're course. not gonna freaking do that. Like, yeah, come we're on. all ugly. A lot, of, of course, is kidding around. Yeah. But, uh, but look, one last thing on the genetic point. Uh, the reason that, uh, my conspiracy theory on that was, look, the Turks came from the Central Asian uh, steppes, which were they were nomadic tribes and they were raiders. Okay, and so and in the raiding community, what happens is tons and tons of battles. Same thing is true in Scotland and a couple other areas in the world. And uh, and all the men who lost are killed. And then the raiders the, the uh, take the women of the other tribe. So it is not impossible that there would have been enough evolution there of mm. like more <laughs> aggressive Turks winning out evolutionarily. I love, from less aggressive I love terms. when Jenk turns into his dad and he starts like bragging about like, oh, in Turkish history, this happened, and that's why we're the best. It's okay. Calm okay, down. okay. By the way, being more aggressive, not equal to the best. Oh, we and know. has led to tremendous disasters. So it's not bragging. <laughs> and uh, and the other word I was thinking of using was more barbarian. Okay, but that gets into some racist stuff against Turks, so I don't want to go there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's keep it light. Let's keep it light. Keep it light. Keep it light. Yeah. But maybe that's why don't f around with a Turk, even if it's a two-year-old girl. You might find out. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.